So hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Vika Tivu. If you are new, welcome, welcome to the family. And if you're old, thank you so much for coming back. For today's video, we're going to be talking about the 10 things that I've been doing for the past two, three months that have really, really changed my life. Like honestly, I feel myself being happy. I feel myself being more energetic. I just find myself feeling like life is getting a little bit easier like I can't really explain it but I've felt the difference and I just thought I'd share it with you guys the other thing I want to say is that it's not like I was unhappy before like, it's just I feel like everybody always has something that they can improve elements of our life that are just not going the way that we want them to and yeah I just thought I'd start tweaking those things and it's been working some wonders and if you are new by the way please do press the subscribe button down below because our family is growing and glowing and i would just love you to join us on this journey through life through learning through loving through living like we need you so join us okay so one of the first things that i've been doing for the past three months that i never did before that has honestly like altered my mood, altered my productivity. Everything's just like times by 10 now. Exercise. I kid you not, I was not the exercising kind of girl before. Now, there's no two days that will go by where I'm not outside exercising or I haven't got a Chloe Ting in the background or something because some kind of happy hormones are released and I know there's a science behind it and you do actually release hormones that do make you happier. I see it, I feel it and um, I don't even exercise like exercise for real as in oh I'm gonna do weights and gym. I just walk. I do walks. I do four kilometer, three kilometer walks and my day is going to go completely different to what it would have if I hadn't. I bought myself an Apple Watch because I was taking it very seriously. And now, like, having the Apple Watch on my headphones, I'm good to go. And it's such a vibe. The next thing that I've been doing, I've been writing down my feelings. I've been getting my emotions down, getting how I'm feeling out. And you don't realise how much you bottle inside until you're writing it down. And this, this notebook has, like, thoughts in it. And... I've been journaling, if you may. Ooh, it's as if, it's almost as if you've got therapy, but in yourself. Um, The biggest thing that I've been doing, obviously, is I've been writing the book for the past six, seven months. So I didn't realise how much I hadn't, I hadn't, like, put into thoughts and actually formulated in my mind until I was writing my book. So I'm not saying go and write a book, but me writing my book helped me get my thoughts out. And because I was journaling as well the combination of the two and I I mean I could say write a book you don't have to publish it. it doesn't have to be an actual book but just write out your thoughts write out your life see where things have gone right have gone wrong and it will just I don't know help you feel like there's a weight off your shoulders the third thing that I've been doing is I stopped caring what people think like I've made an active and conscious effort to catch myself whenever I'm literally worried about someone else I say to myself is this a problem that they have and they're putting onto you or is it actually your problem and once I started deciphering the difference between the two I found myself like saying more saying more saying no more and actually like reasoning with people better because I'll think V why are you taking on this problem as if it's yours when you didn't create it you weren't responsible for it and and it's not your job to to fix it and I feel like I used to have that guilt on myself a lot like that I had to solve everyone's problems around me just because people always came to me for advice and always came to me for stuff I think I never realized how much of myself I was giving to other people and you don't realize how much it's taking from you at the same time so now I feel a bit lighter and happier because I'm I'm putting things first that really matter to me and not just always trying to please everybody. The next thing I did, which I am so happy with myself for, is I stopped eating uh, McDonald's, which I'm sure I'm going to go back to eating one day, so don't hold me to it. But I realised that every time I was eating McDonald's, I would then feel so sad after and feel so low within myself. And McDonald's can symbolise whatever it is in your life that you do, that you do and it feels good while you're doing it then the moment you're done you're like why did I do that so I downloaded this app called the sober app and it is 
honestly one of the best decisions i've ever made because every single day on that app i have other people in a community who've been through what i'm going through and they type in like how they're feeling that day what changes they're making and it's kind of like an instagram but, but for people who are wanting to change their lives depending on like what your addiction is and i use that term very loosely i wasn't addicted for real to mcdonald's but i i was eating it uncontrollably too much um more than i should have like why would i why was i have it in mcdonald's five times a week that's not good like that is it's not an addiction but it's still not good so since i've stopped eating that and i've got the app and the app gives you positive affirmations every day it gives you quotes and gives you like new systems that you can adapt and change so it's really been helping me a lot so that app was the fifth thing that i've been doing which has oh revolutionized everything and i knew this already and this is something you all know too i've been sleeping i was running on like four or five hours of sleep because hustle culture gets to you you start to believe this is how it's supposed to be everything you need to get in life you've got to suffer for it no you don't no you do not and i've written about this as well in my book which is upcoming soon pre-order down below this feels like a big ad for my book but it's really not like it just so happens that i've written about these things and i was not sleeping and you know what was happening when i wasn't sleeping i'd go to bed late wake up later feel terrible for missing like waking up normal then feel tired the whole day fighting my sleep because i got to hustle some more and then by the time i've gone to bed i'm so exhausted that it like i don't know it, was, it wasn't working and when i was sleeping i was thinking about things and like trying to think about what I'm supposed to be doing tomorrow I wasn't really sleeping and it just it was getting me down and then once I started exercising properly and eating better my sleep routine kind of fell into each other itself so that's been really great I feel happier I feel I feel less anxious the sixth thing is and I think I've said this before I've said it before many a time but putting my phone away I charge my phone away from my bed when i go to bed at night and it has changed the game do you know why because once i'm in bed that's me time that's my time i'm not worrying about the world because the world is at your fingertips at the click of a button get on instagram i now know what my friend in la is doing what my friend in pakistan is doing what my friend in dubai is doing all at the same time because the world is at your fingertips so charging my phone when i go to bed away from me means that it's not the first thing I see when I wake up and it's not the last thing I see before I go to bed, which means I'm actually tuning my mind off. It's changing my life because it's making me happier. It's making me more productive. Number seven, and this one I've really been enjoying and I can see the benefits of it. Like I've started taking more pride in what I do and like how I do my hair and like how I dress and stuff. I feel like for so long I neglected my physical self just because I was so consumed by getting my mental self in order and now that i have i looked in the mirror and i was like i like i enjoy playing with color with patterns like you know polka dots pinks oranges like dressing up like it really i enjoy it and i used to love it, it was a big part of me when i was growing up my mom has always been into dressing us up and stuff and i feel like once i got to oxford i kind of I gave it up because I was just pursuing the library, pursuing my books. And I don't know, in my mind, the two didn't go together. I felt like I had to choose either enjoying dressing up and playing with makeup and hair and all that stuff or being smart and reading and studying and stuff. And actually, you can do both. So I've gotten back into like wearing my dresses and dressing up. I feel happier. Like I love when there's color around me and I've got oranges and pinks and blues and dresses and it's like flowy and stuff. It really, it matches how I feel. It matches my personality. It matches my inner self and i felt like i wasn't expressing that outwardly something else i've been doing is planning my life like i i used to be quite i've always been good at planning but that was more to do with my studies and like oh i've got an essay coming up i've got to plan this but i feel like i wasn't planning for me and now i schedule in things like on this day you're having a self-care day and you're just going to do this planning things better than i was before and now having that structure in my life has calmed me down and has made everything much easier i know what i'm working towards i know what i'm doing it's not just necessarily about balance but it's more about harmony it's about harmony having your things in order and they're harmonizing together to work towards pursuing your happiness so i've been more unapologetic about 
taking the weekend and like turning my phone off or taking time off social media if i have to having a balance and harmony in my routine is making me a lot calmer because i know that everything is under control number nine i've been opening up more i've never been so open and expressive in what i'm feeling what i'm thinking than i have in the past three months i let my friends know the moment that something happens that i don't like i let them know so vocal now with what i want and what i need that people around me know how to cater to me and the same for them as well like i listen when they let me know hey this doesn't work for me can you stop doing this can you do that and i change it up and i make sure i accommodate them so i feel like for so long i wasn't vocalizing what i needed and i'm learning to lean on the people around me like you do not have to do this thing called life on your own or like suffer things on your own you can ask for help you can lean on the people around you it changed my life because now i'm a bit more unapologetic and i'm existing to exist and not necessarily existing to please other people and the last one is i've been controlling what i'm consuming in regards regards to the people around me the social media around me all of that kind of stuff like i went through my follow the people i followed and i literally stopped following anything that was making me feel terrible making me feel bad anything that felt toxic stuff like that like i literally am so intentional about what i'm consuming now like what tv shows i'm watching like i'm not watching things that are gonna bring me down i feel like i'm in a lot more control and i've got the power so those are the things that i've been doing to change my life and they truly have changed my life i think the overall takeaway from this video is that you are in control you've got to shape everything and gear it all towards your needs what you need for you to succeed for you to feel good for you to mentally be right there for you to just feel like you are the captain of your own ship and i hate to say this again but all of this stuff i'm going to talk about in my book because i think it's so important well i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you soon and i'm just going to continue on this journey of changing my life and um making myself pursuing my happiness and pursuing the things that i want so thank you so much for watching i love you a million and i'll catch you in the next video bye